Halloween is supposed to be a really festive time of the year, but SDSU has asked the students not to hold Halloween parties on or off campus. But will they comply? SDSU Halloween party this Friday. That was written in bold letters on a flyer posted on Twitter this week. The account is marked private and only approved followers will know where the party is being held. And these parties have two, three hundred people in the backyard. How are you going to identify who is at that party? Because the minute the, they know the police are there, they're they're up and over the fences, going through our backyards. Uh, they're gone. They book it. After issuing a stay at home advisory, the university released a statement today as a reminder, saying in part, students are not to host parties or to host and attend gatherings in ways that are not in compliance with the state's public health order, the county's guidelines and university policies. As you're aware, SDSU has also implemented a stay at home advisory and all students are encouraged to remain home through the advisory period. <laughs> That period will last until November 2nd. Still, neighbors say they're expecting the parties to go on anyway. A lot of people are kind of banding together and saying, hey, you know, I, you know, I live at such and such an address. Um, if I hear a party um, in, in, on your street, I'm going to go see where it is, and then I'll call you and say, hey, is this party bothering you? And, and so it's kind of, you know, getting together and helping each other out. SDSU is also stepping in to try and curb in-person parties. It's planning virtual events for students this weekend, including the Halloween Spooktacular on Halloween night. San Diego police say they will be responding to loud party complaints and they will take the appropriate action when necessary.